Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is Human from Toolhouse and today I'm here to share with you a cool Telegram bot that I built using Toolhouse and Nano Banana. So on a higher level, this workflow does this. So we're waiting for a message from the user. So we're using a Telegram webhook. We're listening for that message. We're passing that message as a prompt to our Toolhouse agent, which will create the image for us using the flux image generation model and then we are passing that prompt the second prompt to nano banana to add something into the image and it's all happening in your mobile like in your telegram bot so this is pretty cool so by the end of this you're going to have something like this sitting in your pocket this is the prompt cute cat and this is the edit field uh, add giga chat in the image so the first image is the image that generated from toolhouse with the flux model and then second one is the giga chat has been added to your image using the nano banana this is something silly fun to show you how this stuff works but you can just push it and push it to its limits and create more stuff to it all right so before diving into the whole workflow and show you how you can set it up for yourself I'm going to link it in the description so you're gonna have this workflow you need to download and just import it from here so you can have all of this for free but what you need to do is to sign up to toolhouse you need an api key from toolhouse to make these nodes work so pause the video right now and sign up after you've done that i'm going to show you how you can get your api key so when you sign up visit app.toolhouse.ai Head over to API keys in your user dashboard and you can just copy the API key. That's all you're going to need from Toolhouse. Copy that, go to your NA10 workflow. This is the node, single node. You're going to add your credentials. So click on here, add a new credential and just paste in your API key and click save. That's it. You're good to go. Now for the nano banana part, this is the part that involves this one. All right, so here I'm using Open Router. There are a couple of ways you can get Nano Banana, but the way I did it was go to Open Router and just search for it, right? So search Nano Banana and it will bring you up this page. I believe these places you can get the API key from, like Google AI Studio and other places, but this is how I did it. Go to the Open Router, go to API tab, create an API key and use this curl command. It's already set up for you here, so you don't need to do it. You just need to bring your own key for it. All right, without further ado, let's just run the whole workflow and get into each node as we run it. Okay, execute workflow, perfect. Waiting for the trigger, right? So we have to send the message now. Let's go to our bot and I'm going to pass in a prompt. Let's say, hello, wish warrior and gonna use that symbol to pass in the edit field at um all right at elvish warrior and chimpanzee bananini okay let's run the workflow as soon as i send the message the workflow gets into action as we expected first toolhouse will generate the image for us this is happening and then we're going to edit the video, the image using Nano Banana. Perfect. We got our beautiful Elvish Warrior. Toolhouse did its job. Now it's time for Nano Banana. All right. We should have got. <laughs> Let's go. We got it. It's here. It's it's not perfect, but we got it. <laughs> you can just play around with the prompt, make it better to appear nicely in the image but it's done its service we got the here's your edited image and it looks okay all right this is how you can create images on toolhouse and add it to telegram with the power of na10 but wait a second what's actually happening in the workflow right so first part we're just listening to the user message on telegram and we're passing that to our toolhouse agent so this is the first image generation and we are using an image generator agent on toolhouse that returns an image url so this agent will only return an image url and if you visit that copy this url to your browser 
you can see the whole image that it came up with after we're generating that we're sending it back to the user the only trick in the node is that I'm forcing the agent to create a Ghibli Studio art style of uh, what user types in. So you can just change this user message here to whatever style you're into. Next up would be to detect if we have an edit field. So this is why it's here. We're doing some data manipulation here. That really doesn't matter. But we're passing that to our nano banana model. So this is where open router gets into action. This is what we imported from curl and you know you just need to bring your key here change it and you should be good when you're done that you can just download the file here as well so you can just download the file that uh, nano banana came up with so go ahead and open that you can see it there and when we're done generating the image we're just sending it back to the user as simple as that we have this personal photoshop in our telegram waiting for us generating and editing images so if you are into the creative space if you like this kind of videos please give this video a thumbs up and please leave in the comments some ideas uh, that you like to see with image generation video generation or whatever you're into all right i hope this video was useful you found it cool and make sure to sign up at toolhouse and if you want to purchase our paid plans or become our paid plan users on toolhouse make sure you use code human at the checkout that will give you 50 percent off in our paid plans code human grab it while it's there and i see you in the next videos bye bye guys